Are you ready for lower prices? Me too. I paid just over $3 for gas in multiple states this summer. And of course, that's not just about inflation, but taxes too. Inflation is working its way back to normal. However, that doesn't mean prices will drop back to pre-COVID levels. It's too late for that, unless we have a deep recession. When real estate prices drop, it helps buyers, but it hurts the sellers. Home prices going down means not enough buyers. And once interest rates drop, we'll see more buyers. And let's take a look at how the real estate market will change over the next couple of months. Let's start with some basic info. Interest rates on mortgages are not controlled directly by the Federal Reserve. Their actions are based on factors that they believe will cause the Fed to lower interest rates. Lately, we've seen rates drop. And also, the rates you see quoted by the Fed are lower than mortgage rates. So don't get excited when you hear them say 5%. It just means mortgage rates are lower, just not as low as they say. As the chief economist for NAR, Lawrence June says, mortgage rates are plunging on the news of weak job growth and rising unemployment. This indicates a slowing economy and the Fed uses that to drop rates. It's hard to see, but unemployment is higher now than before COVID, which is the standard for the comparison. Rates started dropping in January, about a month earlier than my prediction. However, some contradictory economic info led many to believe a recession will not happen. So we'll see. Buyer demand is driven by rates. We're starting to see an increase in demand as rates drop. How far will they drop? Will we see 3% rates again? Greg McBride is right when he says, the hopes for lower interest rates need the reality check that lower doesn't mean we're going back to 3% mortgage rates. Mortgage rates are around 7% now, and the best we may be able to hope for over the next year is 5.5 to 6%. How will lower rates affect my payments? On a $500,000 loan amount, you save about $370 per month. The forecast for home appreciation in 2024 shows slow growth, and the same is true for 2025. But what about the rest of the year? In July, the Fed decided to leave rates where they are, and the good news is it was strongly hinted that they'll drop rates in September. And as the economy slows down and inflation gets closer to the desired 2%, rates will drop. Keep in mind that home sales in October and November of an election year almost always slow down, then come roaring back after the inauguration in January. And that sounds about right in this divisive and chaotic election. And on that almost time to vote note, that's it for our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on All the Right Moves with Jeff Moss.